in that manner, I do not believe is, uh, is not germ I believe it's germane to fix the double negative there. Uh, Joe Van was trying to get the recognition. Uh, what do you want? Well, who do you want? You get to pick one. I'm, I'm aware, <laughs> but thank you. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to recognize Joe Van. Are you wishing to speak in favor? Yes. Okay, I'm going to recognize Joe Van at the blue microphone. As Terry mentioned, this was part of the measures put into place to combat the problems that we had with slating. The five and six ensured that there was the ability to put an extra nominee or an extra finalist on the ballot. Um, this was something that the Hugo administrators actually did back in 89 when there was some ballot stuffing that went on, uh, was to add extra finalists to the ballot. And I think that the five and six right now, while it has increased the workload a little bit on the administrators, is helping to ensure that the people who should have had a chance of being on the ballot get that chance. We have time for another speech against? Uh, yeah. Right. Sure. Uh, is there anyone else wishing to speak against? Uh, ben Yellow um, at, the, um, at the blue microphone. Uh, ben Yellow, uh, he, him. Basically, we adopted a giant set of protections against a threat that decided to go away because they were driven out of our community. So they left. Um, we now still have a whole bunch of protections running around that serve no useful purpose. And therefore, I think that we might as well start dismantling them because they make the process less transparent and less fair. We need to have a process that has an elevator pitch. And right now, it is really hard to make an elevator pitch to somebody who isn't familiar with our rules as to why it is that our Yugos are being awarded fairly. Um, I'm going to recognize you for a speech in favor. Uh, can you, somebody, do you wish to use the red microphone? Okay. Red microphone. Red mic. Got it. Yep. Um, I am Kathleen Dimick Mahaffey, she, her, and they have not gone away. They are still very much part of this community, and we still see evidence of them trying to stuff the ballot boxes and Makes, I'm seeing slates in odd corners of the internet that are still trying to get around EPH and 4 and 6, and I think we have to keep this for at least, you know, another five years or so. Okay. Uh, can you please, Terry, can you please bring the... Badge. I just need your badge. The badge won't help you. <laughs> the badge has a different name on it. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, parliamentary inquiry on the blue microphone. Yeah, just write it down. I, yeah. Elspeth Kovar, uh, she, her grammar just fell apart. Um, are we... Can you please stand if you're able? I beg your pardon. I apologize. Um, what exactly are we debating at the moment? Is it um, postponed indefinitely or the actual discussion of the... Uh, we are currently uh, debating the motion to postpone indefinitely item uh, D7. Uh, debate on uh, postponing indefinitely tends to bear an awful lot of resemblance to debate on the main motion. But we are currently on postponing indefinitely. Um, we are all out? out. Okay, we are all out of time. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to move to a vote. All those, this does require a two-thirds majority. All those in favor of postponing item D7, 5, and 5 indefinitely, please raise your hand. Thank you. Uh, those against? Division. Yeah, I was going to do that. but it's close, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Sergeant at Arms is going to tell you all how to do this. Okay. Microphone. microphone. Yes, that would help. Red microphone. Red microphone. All right, so we didn't play the little eight minute video this time. So what we're gonna do with the division is that if the, the chair is going to say, if you are in favor, please stand or wave your yellow card. Uh, Anne and I will come and the first person we point to is going to say one. 
and the next person is going to say two and three and on and on and on until everybody who is voting in favor has a number. We then we record the number. And we go in a serpentine. And we go in a serpentine back and forth along the chairs and then we'll do back and forth on the other one. Uh, then everybody sits down, that you sit down as you say your number. And then when, she, when, when they ask for the um, votes against, you stand up or wave your yellow card and we will do it again. And you sit down as soon as you say your number. Is, are there any questions? Okay. We're going to do this side, and then we'll do that side. But everybody needs to stand up at once, so people on this side will be standing longer. Sorry. OK. Um, all those in favor of the motion to postpone indefinitely, please stand or raise your card. And if we can start at the head table. One. Two. Three. Four. You didn't four. count me. Hold on. Four. You missed one. I'm sorry. So three, and you're four. 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 No, no, no. One, one two, two, three. three. We didn't say that. We didn't say that. Didn't say that we're going to wait until we're That's 46 in favor. Um, I will say I failed to um, set the bar to not include the round tables. Um, so for the purposes of this vote, the round tables can be counted. Um, all those, uh, it was yes. in favor of Remind me the number, it was 46. 46. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all those against, please stand or raise your yellow card. One. Okay, that is 46 votes in favor and 30 against. Uh, therefore, the motion to postpone indefinitely fails as that is not a two-thirds majority. Okay, now we can do debate times. Uh, okay, I am proposing a debate time of 10 minutes for item D7. Are there any objections to 10 minutes? Seeing none. Uh, Whoops, oh, I am one. so sorry. Okay. Uh, you're objecting to the debate time of 10 minutes? Okay. Uh, all those in favor of a debate time of 10 minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those against? Uh, passes and debate time is set at 10 minutes. Okay. Are we good on the? I'm good. Okay. Moving to item D8 found on page 10. This is short title, no deadline for uh, nomina nominations eligibility. Okay, I am proposing a debate time of eight minutes for this item. Is there any objection to eight minutes? Yes. Yes, okay. All those in favor of eight minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those against? Uh, passes and debate time is set at eight minutes. Okay, item D9 found on page 11. Short title is non-transferability of voting rights. I am proposing a debate time of 10 minutes for this. Is there any objection to 10 minutes? Uh, yes, okay. All those in favor of 10 minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you, all those against? Uh, passes and debate is set at 10 minutes. Okay, item D10. 
which is found on page 12, short title, Preserving Supporting Membership Sales for Site Selection. Uh, no, wait a minute. Yeah. No? Wait. Yeah. Yeah. One we moment. Can. Preserving supporting membership. Oh, that one is preserving. Yeah, preserving supporting membership sales for site selection. Uh, maybe I didn't put it in here. Maybe that's the new one that didn't get put in. But I have it, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have it. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, I'll just take the notes and get it in there. Okay. Uh, so I am proposing a debate time of eight minutes for item D10. Is there any objection to eight minutes? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to propose a debate time of four minutes. Any objection to four minutes? Yes. You better, you better put to a vote. Okay. I'm I'm just going to put it to a vote. Debate time of four minutes. Those in favor, please raise a hand. Thank you. Those against. Uh, and it passes. So debate time is set at four minutes. Uh, Okay, item D11, clearing up the definition of public in the artist categories forever. I think someone's moving a Okay, right, hold on. Uh, I'm still gonna tell you what page it's on. It's on page 13. Um, and I will uh, recognize you at the blue microphone. Is a motion to refer in order at this time? Uh, yes, it is. In that case, mixed chairperson, I move that this be referred to the Hugo Study Committee. I will pause for a moment to say that at the preliminary business meeting, uh, motions to refer to the committee can only be done in such a way that then they report to the main business meeting tomorrow. Is right. that your intention? I forgot about do, do we dealing with this. I withdraw this motion. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, Joshua. Um, are you coming up to the podium, Mike? Okay, the podium. I move to amend um, to fix the short um, title, striking the word forever. <laughs> but it's the short title. Okay, that's not substantive, and I'm going to declare it out of order, but we all appreciate the laugh. The laugh. Oh, I didn't catch what this actually was. Yeah, no, was. I didn't never either. Mind, never, yeah. never mind. You had me all concerned and <laughs> almost missed your joke. All right, all right. Okay. This agenda is too short. There's too much levity here. Okay, I am proposing a uh, debate time of uh, eight minutes for this item. Is there any objection to eight minutes? Yes. Yes, okay. All those in favor of eight minutes, please raise your hand. Uh, we are on item uh, D10, or nope, sorry, D11, uh, clearing up the definition of public in the artist categories. It's still forever because it wasn't substantive. Uh, sorry, all those in favor of eight minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those against, uh, the motion passes and it is set at eight minutes. Okay, uh, Cliff. I have a motion. Okay, please move to a microphone. I, Tess, there we go. I move to postpone Delta 12 indefinitely. Okay, uh, it has been moved and seconded to postpone D12 indefinitely. Uh, do you wish to speak to that? Okay. There's a parliamentary inquiry. Uh, can you please move to a microphone? You can move to the blue microphone or the blue microphone will move to you. Uh, would a motion to amend, should that come before a motion to postpone indefinitely? Uh, no. I mean, it, it could, but now we're on the postponing indefinitely, so now it has to come after. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairperson. Oh, yes. Can you please state your name? Apologies. Rafe Richards, he, him. I need you to come up and give me uh, Can you please hand your badge to the Shire General Arms to bring up to the... Thank you. Okay, uh, Cliff Dunn. Oh, are we good? Okay. It's done. 
Oh, wait, uh, Cliff Dunn at the podium microphone. Yep, still Cliff Dunn. Uh, first and foremost, the Hugo Study Committee has said that we are not ready, and quite frankly, we were unable to get um, some discussion on this done because of a lack of uh, participation. Second of all, I think it's unfortunate that this would create a secondary Hugo that would uh, cause all sorts of issues that the Hugo Study Committee has raised as concerns. So while the Hugo Study Committee does pledge to keep working at this as best we can, we should, uh, we're, it's, it's not ripe. Okay, that was a speech in favor of postponing indefinitely. Is there a speech against? Uh, yes, uh, you should come up to the front to the podium, right, the podium microphone. Uh, the debate time for postponing indefinitely is automatically set to four minutes. Hello, Chris Barkling, answering to he, hey you, and that guy. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize to Cliff uh, for circumventing normal protocol on this issue, but the, as the maker and my co-signers of this issue, we strongly feel that the proposed amendment we have structured is the road they're going to eventually end up at. And we, as a group, feel that this issue needs to be discussed right now because all eyes are on us. And this is a matter of diversity and being in the vanguard of literature, and not the rear guard at all. Thank you. Thank you, that was a speech against. I'll recognize Ben Yallo for a speech in favor of postponing indefinitely. Uh, on the blue microphone. Still Ben Yallo. If we had the authority, I would, of course, have simply moved to commit this but we don't have the authority to commit it, as we discussed moments ago. Therefore, if we postpone it indefinitely, it goes away, and then, as Cliff has said, the committee will then discuss it. So effectively, by postponing it indefinitely, we, given Cliff's commitment, are doing the equivalent of committing this, and. I wish we could commit it, we can't hear. This accomplishes the same thing. Thank you, is there another speech against postponing indefinitely? Somebody could have moved to suspend the rule, but yeah, it's not Yeah, but it. whatever, they didn't. Um, <laughs> do we have time for another speech in favor? Uh, yeah. Is there another speech in favor of postponing indefinitely? Uh, Joe Van on the blue microphone. I'm a member of the, Joe Van Eckren, I'm a member of the Hugo uh, Award. Slowly category committee, and we've discussed this at, at some great length. Um, it needs a lot more work. It needs to have a case built for it to show that there is the amount of participation by nominators, nominators that would be required to make this a viable category. That work has not been done yet. That would be something that the Hugo category committee would be addressing in the future. Thank you. Uh, are we have time for another one? Against, we've got like a minute. Do we have a do we have a speech against? Okay. Are you are you wishing to speak against? Yes. Against. Okay. Uh, On the blue uh, microphone. Against proposing uh, indefinitely. Um, Mark Richards, uh, he, him, his, uh, as one of the other um, co-sponsors of this motion. I think that uh, first of all, um, uh, I, I think the. Uh, argument that uh, we need to study this more, well, it has merit. Um, as part of that study, we can, we can implement this on, uh, th this, this as we have proposed, it has a sunset clause. So if it doesn't work, it will go away. And uh, that in itself will um, act as uh, a trial of the viability of the proposal. So uh, that's about it. All right, thank you. That was a speech against postponing indefinitely. We're out of time for speeches in favor. Is there an additional speech against? There's, there's basically 10 seconds. Left. We are out of time for both. Uh, so we are going to move to a vote. All of those in favor of postponing indefinitely, item D11, or sorry, D12, 
Uh, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those against? Uh, that is a two-thirds majority, and uh, the motion is postponed indefinitely. Okay, I and one moment. Okay, I, I I saw Kate first when I glanced up. So if you want to move to a microphone uh, while the secretary catches up, I'm still going to tell you what we're on and what page it's on. Though uh, we are moving to item D13, short title, D best game or interactive experience. Wait. No, D12 is what we just did. Best translated. Mm -hmm. best translated. We just did D11, yeah. artist. D12 is mm -hmm. best translated novel. That's what we just yeah. did. Yeah, we just did it. D12 is what we just okay. postponed indefinitely. Yes. Okay, sorry. So now we are moving to D13, short title, best game or interactive, interactive experience on page 15, and I'm recognizing Kate at the blue microphone. Mixed chairperson, I would like to move to postpone item D13 indefinitely. Okay, it has been moved and seconded. Uh, debate time is automatically set to four minutes. Uh, do you wish to speak to that? I do. My name is Kate Secor. You got that, Linda, right? Sorry. I used to work in video games, so this is not an I'm anti-video games. I love the industry. I absolutely think that there is a ton of Hugo-worthy stuff in that industry right now. What I don't think is that the Hugo nominating base is ready for the cost of entry to getting to the point where everyone can nominate in an intelligent and informed way. If you buy a book, right, even if you buy a book new, even if you buy a hardcover new, it's a week of fancy coffees, right? If you buy a used book, if you're really lucky and you live in New York, you can probably do it out of change you pick up off the street. If you want to get into video games, it's a minimum of several hundred dollars of gear and games and then it's another hours and hours and hours and hours of learning the conventions to get to the point that you are comfortable enough with the game to even understand why it might be Hugo worthy. So while I absolutely appreciate the urge to reward that work as it should be rewarded, I don't think the time for that is now. Thank you. Is there a speech against? Okay. Uh, at the podium microphone. Still Lisa Paddle, still she, her. I recognize those concerns, but having seen the report and the reference to the other report of several studies, I think enough research has been done, we can safely debate this even if we decide not to. I don't think an objection to consideration makes sense here. Uh. I'm hearing rumblings audience that it is not an object to consideration. It is postponing definitely. That is correct. However, I believe the intent of the speaker was clear. Uh, so that was a speech against. Uh, is Perry Ann, you're wishing to speak in favor? Okay. I'll recognize you at the podium microphone. One moment. Okay. okay. I am still Perry Ann Lurie. Um, I am agnostic on the topic of video games, but I believe that this particular uh, proposal is, is flawed in many ways and would need a lot of revision before we could actually consider it. I think it's unclear where something like Bandersnatch uh, would fit into this because it seems to be eliminated from the dramatic presentation category by the wording in this, uh, in this proposal. And I think that choose your own adventure novels would be moved into this category. Um, I don't think that that is a good idea. I think that this needs work and I don't think we should consider it this year. That was a speech in favor. Do we have a speech against postponing indefinitely? Uh, yes, I'll recognize you at the back. Um, coming up to the, are you coming up to the podium microphone? No. Okay, at the podium. May I get your name? Can you, is your name on your badge? Yes. You can just hand it to the secretary. Yeah. Go up Thank to the podium. Thank you very much. Uh, test, test. Got it. Um, I'm Era Alexandra, they, them. Uh, this is my proposal. <laughs> uh, and I've been hearing from a lot of people in the video game industry. I've been hearing from a lot of uh, Worldcon members, Hugo voters, um, that whether they're for or against, they find this issue at least worth talking about. There's a lot of interest 
in, uh, uh, in consideration of this issue, I would like to at least have the chance to hear what people think and incorporate that feedback. So I would really appreciate if we could actually debate it. Uh, thank you, that was a speech against, and briefly the chair apologizes for forgetting to ask if the maker of the motion uh, wished to speak against at the beginning. Uh, we have time for more talking? 20 seconds. Okay, is there a brief speech in favor? Okay. Uh, coming up to the podium. Pine, he, him. I, I would like to see this trialed as a category before the business meeting considers it. Thank you. Any time against? Oh, we've got a whole minute against. Okay, uh, is there a speech against? Uh, yes, Joe Van. Uh, blue microphone. Joe Van Eckeren. I personally uh, don't support this proposal. However, ERA has done an amazing amount of research and work to build a case for it, and I feel that it deserves uh, debate time at the at the WISFIS meeting, and um, I think that that will help us clarify what we would expect to see for the proposers to pr further refine their proposal. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, we are out of time in favor. Do we still have time? Uh, yeah, we still have uh, 40 seconds. Again. Okay. Does anyone else wish to speak against postponing indefinitely? Yes. Uh, at the podium microphone. Karina Stark, she, her. Um, I am in favor, uh, or I, rather, I'm against postponing this indefinitely because as things stand, video games do not clearly fit into any of the other categories, and many, a lot of good work is being done in this field. I think if we had a category, or at least had the option to add a category, um, that is worth discussing so that we can recognize things which have excellent sci-fi fantasy work being done for them. All right, we are out of time uh, for debate, so we will move to a vote. All those in favor of postponing item D13 indefinitely, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those against? Uh, that is not a two-thirds majority, and so the item is not postponed indefinitely. I am going to propose a debate time of 12 minutes for this item. Is there any objection to 12 minutes? I... <laughs> Okay, we're gonna vote. Uh, is all in favor of 12 minutes? Please raise your hand. Thank you. All those against? Debate time is set at 12 minutes. I kind of wanted that to fail so we could do at least one fill in the blanks, oh, well, but oh well. Don't worry about uh, So debate time is set at 12 minutes. Uh, that concludes uh, our uh, business for today. Uh, we will see you, hold on. We will see you here tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, so we can uh, take up all of these debate times we just set and adhere to them strictly. Uh, 12, 12, uh, so uh, very briefly, does anyone at the, on the business meeting staff have any announcements they need to give? See none, uh, the meeting is adjourned for the date at 12.18. Which I believe means